Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. Our first stop is in Utah. This is Snowbird. They're reporting 21 inches in the last 48 hours. So that storm is over. The skies have cleared. Look at that awesome view down towards Salt Lake and the uh, valley is all filled with clouds and sunny above. Um, so the next storm system comes in around 1123 and 1124. We'll look at that coming up. I want to take you into Colorado as well. Um, we're still snowing off and on. This is at uh, Loveland Ski Area up on the Continental Divide. So we're dealing with that same storm in Colorado that came out of uh, Utah. Um, and so it's lingering here for, for most of the day in Colorado. It's going to move away by tomorrow and then we'll gear up for the next storm system. I want to show you what uh, it looks like right now. This is water vapor satellite imagery. So the next storm system right here is uh, gathering steam. That's the one that's going to bring snow to Utah, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, New Mexico. Um, the storm that's departing is right here and that's headed up to the northeast where it's going to bring moderate to heavy snow to a lot of the ski areas in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. So there's a lot to look forward to. The flow here should take this storm, and this is the track, should take it down basically like this. 1123, 1124, and 1125. All right, let me show you my bullet points here. So next storm system, 1123 through 1125. Utah, you can see the timing there. It's really afternoon, 1123 through 1124. Same in Colorado, afternoon, 1123. And it's probably going to linger longer, especially in southern Colorado, into 1125. And that would be the case New Mexico gets most of its snow, 1124 and 1125. In the northeast, so the storm exiting Colorado right now will move up into the northeast um, late on the 21st, continuing into the 22nd, and there may be another storm down the road for the northeast around 1127. Let me take you back and show you how this plays out on the forecast radar and satellites. So that's the current state of affairs. Snow coming to an end in Colorado, low departs tomorrow, back to sunny skies, waiting for a couple of days here for the next storm. And here it comes out of the Pacific Northwest, and it's a Canadian cold front dropping south. By the time we get into Thursday in the morning, you can see it coming down through Montana and through Idaho, headed into the Tetons. And there it is by 415. And by the time we get into the morning of 1124, widespread snow, a lot of cold air dropping in with this thing. The door is going to be wide open. So snow for the Wasatch, the Tetons, and dropping into Colorado. And this is going to be all snow down into Denver as well, right down to the valley floor. Definitely cold enough. And by 1124 at 4 p.m., you can see it's still snowing over Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. And it's all dropping south towards New Mexico. I do expect some nice snow totals, probably moderate to heavy through northern New Mexico, Taos, Ski Angel Fire, and all of those places. All right, let's look at the jet stream configuration here. Um, so this is 1124, cold front storm system, uh, dropping down through Colorado into northern New Mexico, doors wide open, all that cold air is just spilling south. Um, let's go uh, further down the road here. This is 1129. By this point, we might have a little bit of energy sliding out of the Pacific Northwest, but this flow definitely favors the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. You can see a pretty active jet for the East Coast, Northeast, and Great Lakes as well. So we might have something taking shape there. All right, snow totals. My numbers um, through the 25th. So this would capture the entire evolution of this Canadian cold front. Um, looking at big numbers through Red Lodge, just a good wind direction for Red Lodge, but about uh, 6 to 10 for the Tetons, about 8 up in Big Sky, looking for probably 6 to 10 across the Wasatch. And in Colorado, um, I might have to up some of these numbers. I think with colder air, we're going to have some pretty good efficiency, but if I, were to, if I were to throw some numbers out, probably 4 to 8 inches, I-70 in North. Uh, much bigger numbers in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Um, I mean, Wolf Creek could, could uh, take the cake in Colorado with uh, almost two feet. Uh, one more stop here in the northeast. I want to just, actually, you know what, at one more time frame, 1126 to 1129, very quiet. Like I was saying, most of the energy is being directed into the Pacific Northwest and into Banff. All right, let's go to the northeast. So. Uh, grand total snow 1120 through 1129. Most of this comes late on the 21st into the 22nd with probably 6 to 8, 6 to 10 inches. And there could be another storm around 1127, especially for 
um, parts of uh, Maine. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this uh, update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.